Now let's take a look at stimulus in the environment by the numbers. This big number, 2.5%. Out of the $14.6 trillion in spending announced by the 50 largest economies in 2020, only 2.5% has been for green activities. That's the conclusion of a new report from the University of Oxford and the United Nations Environment Program. So even though many politicians, including U.S. President Joe Biden, have adopted the phrase Build Back Better, they have yet to deliver on that promise. Joining me now for a look at the year's effect on the environment is Bloomberg Energy and climate reporter Akshat Rathi in London. Akshat, thanks so much for, for joining us on this. As I think back to where I was a year ago, I think back to me going outside, uh, not wearing a mask at that point, but, but, but washing my hands a lot, wearing gloves. Here in the U.S., we weren't wearing masks then. And seeing discarded gloves on the ground, seeing dis discarded uh, single-use things on the ground. And thinking a year later, how much we're using single-use things, single-use cutlery. People are ordering in and using more packaging. What kind of setback are we seeing this year? I think if we think about packaging and plastic pollution, uh, yes, it's gone up, but it's gone up for necessary reasons. Health comes first. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, uh, you know, plastic pollution is still a minor issue. Mm. Greenhouse gas emissions are, uh, are the biggest issue. Right. And what we have seen is that even though there was a dip in emissions last year because we stopped doing so many of the things we do in life, um, emissions are back up and they are rising faster uh, than they were before the pandemic. And so uh, there is definitely a missed opportunity in trying to rein in these emissions uh, that could have happened uh, if we had spent money uh, more prudently. Okay, so thinking about moving forward, what needs to be done in order to, to put a permanent curb on these, on these emissions? And also speak about why it is so important. So in an economic recession, economists say that governments need to spend money to create jobs and get the economy back on its feet. Uh, typically, this sort of money is spent in the kinds of activities that, are, uh, that underpin our economy, and they tend to be carbon intensive. But last year, when the, when the recession happened, we had economists uh, of all stripe come out and say um, that governments, you can actually spend money not just on the coal, uh, oil, and gas work that you did in the past, but also on renewable energy, on energy efficiency. Um, and all these activities can not just create jobs, but also cut emissions. And what we saw, as you said in that number, is that not a lot of money did go to uh, green activities. There's mm. an inertia in governments that need that needs to be overcome. So where do we go from here? And we, unfortunately, we only have about 30 seconds left. If, if you were to make one yeah, policy so recommendation based on your research. We know that this year is still a year of recovery and governments still have a chance to spend money on mm. green activities. And that would be the big message for 2021. Bloomberg's Akshat Rati. Akshat, thank you as always for your time. Great to have you on the show.